Hey everybody, it's Camp Capital. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. It is April 8th, Thursday, uh, about 30 minutes after close here, and we're going to recap the day and then look at our electric vehicles plays and the charging plays from the last two days, and then um, ticker rice and clove, which also moved today. But uh, here you see the heat map for the different indices. So you right here on the uh, excuse me, on the, the left, you got SP 500, 100, NASDAQ, Russell, and the Dow. So, pretty solid green day all around. You know, the SP <clears throat> um, really tried to get up to that $4,100 level. Looks like we're, you know, we're above it now here. After hours, as futures are higher. Um, so, look to see if that can open above tomorrow. And the NASDAQ is also within striking distance of its all time highs that we could push, push for tomorrow. So, that could be a uh, strong catalyst for names to make big moves going into Friday to close out the week so we'll go with Tesla to start with here electric vehicle right so news came out about Biden's infrastructure plan about uh, the 180 million going to uh, electric vehicle um, subsidies that's the word I was looking for um, <clears throat> right but in sub subsidies usually help smaller companies but Tesla has such a huge uh, share of the market and so Tesla and GM, their their seventy five hundred dollar uh, subsidies, they ran out because they sold over two hundred thousand uh, vehicles that are completely electric. So these new subsidies would give would bring those back, you know. So greatly decreases the price of, of you know Tesla. You know they're already very popular. Increased demand, you know, uh, moving that uh, supply and demand curve lower to a different equilibrium point. And you know, they're eventually they're gonna come out with their $25,000 car. And if you get a $7,500 subsidy for that, you know, becomes accessible to a lot of people. So uh, Tesla on that news today, you know, we, we were green on the day, only up 2%, <clears throat> close at 683. But again, you know, just stuck between the uh, moving averages. So we moved down yesterday off the 50 to the nine. And then today, retest on that nine, push back into that 50, still have overhead resistance here. Uh, above, I realize I don't have the volume on the this chart right now, but uh, it's volume on a day a little bit lower. You can see it is more buying. Uh, we still, <clears throat> I think, ahead. The if we can cross over the 50 tomorrow, we still have that overhead, uh, you know, resistance in you know the seven, seven, ten, seven hundred dollar range that Tesla will need to push through to get, uh, you know, truly bullish ahead. But we are still carrying the the. Uh, upward trend line if we look here on the five minute chart uh, you see pretty pretty solid move early in the morning <clears throat> you know test that 670 level buyers came in shot that thing up got to 688 and then basically we just have this consolidation after hours or, or excuse me in the afternoon you know bounce off 680 close around 683 <clears throat> in the other you know uh, larger uh, Electric vehicle plays we've been talking about, like Neo, the Chinese companies. So, Chio, Neo's uh, William Lee hinted at uh, potentially a second electric vehicle sedan, you know, nothing official um, in talks, but, you know, chart for Neo looking very similar to Tesla, XPEV or XP and Lee. The autos charts all look basically the same, same, same type of structure today as the sector moved higher. Uh, so, if we go to just the one day, look where Neo's at. Here you see we ran into the 9 EMA, closed just below it, so we're acting as resistance above. <clears throat> and still we got inside candle play, so I didn't mention that on Tesla, but same here thing, same play here for NEO, inside candle. So if we break above 39.18, we're gonna look to go long. Break below 37.47, we're gonna look, gonna look to go short tomorrow into Friday's move. And then from there, we'll go to charging play. So blink today. Uh, so Blink came out with uh, some news that they're rolling out charging stations in New York. So they are going to have 42 charging port ports in New York pretty shortly at 10 Four Brothers Pizza Inn locations in New York. I'm not from the East Coast, so I don't actually know what those are. But, uh, you know, positive news for stock up almost 13% today. Close at 59 or 50, 45.90. I'm getting dyslexic today. Uh, but you see here just on the daily pretty strong increase in volume over the last couple of days you know pushed down early in the morning found that 9 EMA support and moved higher and uh, I got a lot of drawings here I should probably remove before drawing these that I added on this morning when I was trading it just for price levels to watch um, but you see here just on the daily we're poking back up to uh, 
<clears throat> areas where we, we crossed over, right? So we're, we're getting back up into a new consolidation level here in the upper 40s. We broke out, you know, uh, this range we're here, stuck in, in the low 40s. So we broke through that, that barrier there, and now we can hopefully look to move higher into these high 40s, maybe push 50 here, uh, if not tomorrow, this upcoming week. And uh, I don't know why it's going so slow, I'm lagging out here. But you see here, back reclaiming the moving averages on the weekly. Uh, really, you know, if we can get through this upper 40 consolidation, could put, push quickly back up into the, the mid 50s here quickly with Blink based on its volume. We go down to the five minute chart to see the moves for the day, um, just basically on absolute tear. And then we consolidate it up at the highs, which is a good sign for, you know, continuation type play to continue for tomorrow. Um, so with that, we'll go to, let me try to delete some volume here. Active. Okay, so from here, we'll go to Romeo. So Romeo ended down on the day about 1%, uh, but still had pretty solid, you know, range that made it tradable. So from, you know, this big move on on Tuesday, right, you expect a, you know, a pullback. Had a little bit more of a pullback today. Still on decreasing volume, 17 million shares. But still, you know, pretty solid range from, you know, 10, 10 to 11 bucks. So, you know, 10% range right there, which is something you could trade off of. Um, but, you know, got the pot first thing in the morning, profit taking kept kept occurring. And then we found support off that, you know, $10 mark when, you know, you have double digits. That is a area buyers and sellers look to uh, hang out around. And we climb back up, actually get to 11, next full dollar mark. Sellers come in, knock us back down. And you see here, end of the day, basically close right about that 61.8 fib uh, from the uh, long time move for Romeo. So look to see if we can get a continuation um, higher tomorrow. I mean, more than likely this might continue to fade into Friday. Um, but who knows, you know, Blink put out put out news. You might see some news from Plug, ChargePoint, Romeo. Um, you know, if they connect something to the infrastructure plan, could be a positive sentiment for Friday. And then so next two are just unrelated to EVs and charging. But Rice, you know, I guess you can say Energy, so Rice Acquisition Corp. Uh, they had news yesterday and this morning, uh, basically that they're rallying on an Aria Arkea deal for a natural gas distribution, uh, you know, platform. So industry leading renewable natural gas platform, strong move pre-market, and then, uh, you know, pullback profit taking occurs pretty quickly off the open. Pullback into support on the moving average here at 22, breakthrough, get a new high, and then basically that high <clears throat> became a double top, right? So we got the wick through 15 and a half, no other candle closed above 15 and a half. But we did, you know, basically get this uh, higher low action into the close. And, you know, one final push into the close, which is, you know, something you'd like to see for a continuation tomorrow. And then after hours here, we're still hugging the 9 EMA looking to move forward. So Rice is definitely going to be on watch tomorrow for a continuation play up. And there was, there was also, you know, shorts available for this ticker too, which is a good sign. We see pretty pretty considerable uh, gap up. You know, ticker hasn't been along for much time. You know, first trade day was December fourteenth, so obviously the volume today t took over everything, and so we're basically at new all time highs. So if we can push that fifteen point nine one after hours or tomorrow, right? Sky's the limit. There's no overhead resistance, uh, just profit taking. And then lastly, uh, we have Clover Health, which popped in the afternoon today. Uh, you know, it's one of Shamas companies, uh, but they're apparently some, a rumor leaked that they got approved for basically 10 states are, the company was mentioned or approved in 10 states to participate in global and professional direct con, contracting model. Uh, so if we here, just look at the daily chart, right? So we basically pushed all the way back up into nine bucks and then, uh, you know, profit taking occurred in this area of consolidation in the upper eights, close to 885, so up 20%. Uh, so we go to the five minute chart, you see Basically, the move happened at 11 a.m. Uh, we ride up, got one pull back down, back to the 9 EMA, <clears throat> push higher, pull back into the 9 on close, and then after hours here, incredibly strong, right? So from 885 up to 941, now at 925. So you could get some profit taking here, 9.4. So if we go back out to daily, 
just look at what's up there on that 9.4, right? So first spot on right here, you have the 50 uh, day EMA. So profit taking probably is gonna occur right there. Um, but really, you know, there's like a little bit of a shelf 9.6, but we could put, push back up to 10, where I think 10 there you do have quite a bit more resistance. So we'll have to see if we can test 10 tomorrow. So that's what I got for you guys in this video on Thursday. Um, let me know what you guys are playing today. What are your thoughts for tomorrow? And where do you think the long term our stock indices are going, you know, we could run into exhaustion risk here pretty quickly unless, you know, the uh, the Fed puts out some more pumpy news or it just keeps on printing. So hope you guys have a good day. Appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video and we'll see you in the next one.